This darling little senior boy is Keller. Keller is 10 years old. He was taken into a vet in Tennessee by his owners to be euthanized. And it's hard to believe because he is such a wonderful boy. Um, the only reason his owners wanted to put him to sleep was because he was blind and deaf. Um, and that's how he got his name Keller. We named him that in honor of Helen Keller. Our Keller is also a very inspirational little guy. Um, he is completely deaf. He does see some shadows. Um, if you wave your hand in front of him, he can see your hand, see your fingers, but he is primarily blind. We suspect that he sees shadows in some movement. He is just a wonderful little guy. If taken out on a very, very regular schedule every three to four hours, he does exhibit very good potty habits. Um, but he really should have a home where somebody is home for most of the day to reinforce those potty habits and to make sure that he gets out on a, in a timely manner. Keller's vision and eyesight might not be the best, but there is nothing wrong with his appetite. He has a wonderful appetite and um, loves to eat. He is a big napper, as you might suspect. Being a senior, he does spend a good day, deal of his day sleeping. Um, I think he would do best in a quieter home, uh, with uh, definitely without small children. Um, I think a retired person, a retired couple would be ideal for him. He gets along very well with other dogs, um, really doesn't interact with them a whole, a whole lot. I think this would be a wonderful dog to use as a therapy dog to show how active and how much a dog has to offer even in their senior years and even when they have some limited capabilities. Um, right now, we have Keller on medication for an elevated liver enzyme, but um, he appears to be very healthy, uh, does not walk particularly well on a leash. I think he would really like a fenced backyard, somewhere we, where he could wander. And uh, that is Keller. He will be fostered in St. Charles, Illinois, which is the far western suburbs of Chicago. Um, as always, we can only adopt to people that have an excellent track record of veterinary care. I think experience with a dog with some limited capabilities would be a positive thing. So if you've had a dog that's maybe had some issues with vision or hearing, I think Keller could be a good fit for you. Um, again, no small children. Um, just a great, loving, terrier-experienced home and preferably one with a fenced yard. Mm -hmm.